for joining us today. I'm Shirley Meeks, President of Prevent Child Abuse Habersham. And with me today are two of our board members, Matt McClurg and Jennifer Stein. The mission of Prevent Child Abuse is to prevent any child in Habersham County from ever having to suffer from child abuse again. Child abuse is not an easy subject to talk about. As we know, child abuse is prevalent in our county, though. It's a reality, and we must address it. So we have four prevention programs that are targeting at-need areas in our county to change the at-risk problems into solutions. Uh, one of those solutions is our First Steps program, in which we visit families and new mo moms of new babies who deliver their babies in Habersham County Hospital. And we have a, a trained person visit with them, uh, support them, find out any needs they have, connect them to county resources, and offer follow-up support. Therefore, those first possible conditions that could be at risk for uh, child abuse are averted, and the child gets a healthy, happy start. Another program is parents as teachers. In that, we have trained educators who visit in-home and talk with families, visit with families on a regular basis, and help parents learn that they are their child's first and best teacher. We work with families that uh, need our help and might need connection to community resources to help them have a better life, and hopefully we can help these families become healthy, thriving families and avoid any conditions that could have led to child abuse. And once again, we have changed the future of the children. Another program is Stewards of Children, in which we uh, train adults on how to detect, respond, and report responsibly to if they ever suspect child abuse. Uh, our goal is to train as many adults in the county as possible. And lastly, but not least, we are launching a new program, Hope and Healing for Habersham, which is uh, for adult survivors of child sex sexual abuse. And this is, uh, we have facilitators and counselors who will meet in support groups to just help them overcome some of the, the negative results of suffering through this as a child and to give them a voice, give them a voice to speak out and speak against this and therefore encourage others who have suffered through this trauma to speak out and, and be freed of, of this terrible um, weight that is on their shoulders as a result of child sexual abuse. So those are some of the programs that we have and uh, we are a non-profit uh, organization so we depend on the grants, uh, the support of United Way, uh, local sponsors, individual donors to survive. Um, and we are very fortunate to live in such a generous, um, loving, caring community as Habersham County. And one of the things that we do each year to raise funds is have an annual event. And Matt, I want you to tell us about uh, some of the details of that event because we want everybody out there to know how they can be a part of this. It's going to be an exciting evening. So tell us tell us about that. Well, I'll be happy to, Shirley. Uh, first of all, our special guest that night is the reigning Miss America 2013, mm -hmm. Mallory Hagan. And uh, we are thrilled to death to have her. Um, and the event is going to take place Thursday, August 29th at uh, Piedmont College, the Swanson Center at Piedmont, and uh, we are going to have a reception from 6 to 7, uh, which will have uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres and a silent auction, and that's to be followed from 7 to 8 by the actual program, and uh, we are, are very excited about that. Uh, we want everybody to feel very comfortable in their attire, so uh, we are, some people may come in cocktail attire, but we're also saying that, that you can come in business dress as, as well that evening. Uh, just um, come out and, and have a great time. We, uh, we've, of course, put a lot of hard work into this event, and uh, we're very excited, especially to have a, a guest um, such as Miss America. 
Um, the tickets, uh, there are tickets still on sale right now for $25, and actually um, we are selling those at locations around the county. Uh, Community Bank and Trust is selling them both in Cornelia and Clarksville. Uh, United Community Bank is selling them at their Cornelia and Clarksville locations. Southern Bank and Trust is selling them, and the Chamber of Commerce is selling them. So uh, we are thrilled to, uh, to have that help and support in the community as well. Um, the tickets are $25, and um, we, of course, want to sell uh, as many of those uh, to the community as we can. And, um, and if, if we're not able to sell them all at that time, then we'll certainly have them on sale that evening as well at the event. Um, you can also contact uh, Jennifer directly um, if, if you're interested in uh, purchasing a ticket. And um, her uh, email address is, uh, is jstein at tallulahfalls.org, or you can reach her at 706-968-9637, uh, her cell phone number. Um, and I did want to definitely uh, give a special recognition and thanks to our sponsors uh, without our sponsors every year we cannot put on an event such as this uh, we have many um, repeat sponsors that have been with us from the beginning and uh, we uh, they not only help fund all of our programs but they're very generous with the children and the families of uh, prevent child abuse so um, and now I'd like to turn it over to Jennifer to tell a little bit about our special guest, uh, Miss America, coming and why Absolutely. we are having Miss America. This well, week. one might wonder why you would have the, the reigning Miss America um, come to an event for the prevention of child abuse as their annual benefit. And part of our original planning when we talked about doing something different this year, uh, normally prevention uh, PCAH, uh, Prevent Child Abuse, Habersham does a, a beautiful annual banquet to honor their sponsors and pull the group together for their, their fundraising for the year. And we just wanted to do something different this year and uh, just kind of had a powwow and uh, surely remembered that uh, Miss America, Mallory Hagen, her platform was the prevention of child abuse. Uh, she herself was not uh, a victim of child abuse, but her mother had been. And uh, after winning uh, Miss New York, uh, I believe it was her second year, she chose to change her platform and talk about this very difficult topic uh, of uh, sexual child abuse. And with that program and platform change, uh, she was affiliated with Darkness to Light, um, she's been very active with Stop It Now and is also working with some legislatures about trying to change some laws. Uh, she really wants to speak to youth and help them have a voice, whether they're the victim themselves uh, or they know somebody is a victim. And similar to the Stewards of Children program, how to identify? What can we do on the preventative side uh, to set an employer up for success, up for success um, or coaches, or anybody that's working with children? What can they do uh, to set aside some policies? So that way, um, it really will prevent somebody that has the desire to victimize youth to not be a part of that program. And uh, speaking of stewards, uh, we, have, we are, um, on our way to the tipping point of training those in, in Habersham County and tell them, tell them about the school system. That's been a great goal. Absolutely. Uh, this is a program that, as you can imagine, it, it does take funding and this is where we're, we're very, uh, just very thankful of the sponsors that come forward every year. Uh, but this program, educators and staff in Habersham County um, at the start of this school year, I want to say that our goal of each of those individuals being trained in the Stewards of Children program. Um, and one, one little key thing that, you know, some of us just might think it's common sense, uh, but just making sure that as a coach or as a staffer, if you're giving tutoring or advice to a student, uh, to make sure that your door to your classroom is open or that you, uh, you let another individual, another staff member know, I'm going to be tutoring so-and-so this afternoon, just to have that communication so that way, uh, as an adult, we're making sure that those around us are knowing how we're supporting our youth, but also so that way um, it deters others that might be thinking a different way. And, you know, uh, even parents, this training helps them understand 
and and be aware of those potential at risk situations as you mentioned right. uh, for instance even uh, a trusted friend or neighbor never an adult child alone just just do not let that situation happen or if it's a must if the child is taking music and it's a, a room right. away from others drop in unexpectedly be aware of the potential because we know right. that um, uh, child sexual abusers uh, are most often trusted trusted friends, relatives, coaches, um, parents. Right. Most abuse happens in the, ch child sexual abuse happens um, behind closed doors, in the home, and, and you wouldn't, it's never reported. It's you wouldn't mostly think never reported. Habersham County, this beautiful, lovely county, um, you know, generosity, uh, that be southern charm, um, but there are over 500 cases of child abuse reported last year. Is that Each correct, year. Shirley? Each year, uh, about 500 cases That's, that's alarming uh, yeah. to think in a county of our size that that, that is what is reported. Uh, but am I correct to say that many go unreported? Many go. Uh, research shows that one in ten sexual abuse cases are reported and usually not reported until they are adults. adults. And something similar to that, a third of other child abuse cases are ever detected or known because often they are in a home and a child has no voice and that's why we must have a voice for them. Right. It's up to the adults. It's not up to the child to protect themselves. It's up to the adults. That's really the new hope and healing for these adults that possibly were not able to come forward until later in life now have a, a program where they can have counsel and help them heal. And as they come forward they give courage to others to have a voice about the the abuse and to find ways of healing yeah. through sharing with others and in encouraging others. Right. Just just so exciting to think that uh, this this woman Mallory Hagen um, that she has made this platform in the past year. I want to say uh, I forget twenty thousand miles a month she travels. That's correct. Uh, so all of the people that she's come in contact with, she is able to spread this message of prevention, and work with key legislators to to you know help put laws into place. Um, so we're excited to have her. Uh, guests of the event will have the opportunity to get her autograph, um, meet other people that uh, possibly are passionate as well as we are um, about this cause, uh, but come together and support, uh, just by enjoying that evening, support our causes uh, and programs that we have by purchasing a ticket and coming that evening. Uh, so. And the good news is that it's a wonderful evening, an elegant, beautiful evening, hors d'oeuvres, solid auction, some great solid auction items. Yes. One, one exciting uh, auction uh, item up for auction is a guitar purchased by Little Big Town and signed by all the band members as well as uh, the local member, Kim Bramlett Slatman. Uh, her daughter, uh, Daisy Pearl, has signed That's so sweet. Uh, it also. We thought that was a good child touch. But uh, there's weekends uh, at Some Lake House. vacation slots, yes. Vacation, uh, commissioned paintings. So wonderful evening. And all of this for $25. But the great news is that all of these proceeds go to benefit the go toward the prevention of child abuse in Habersham County. And when we invest in our children and make sure they're safe and happy and healthy, we invest in our community, a community that where we can prevent child abuse and reduce that number. We will thrive more uh, economically and um, just socially and in every way. What a positive environment. And we have a lovely county, and we want to make it even better. And, and have to just stop and pause and, and say thanks to Piedmont College. Um, they have been huge supporters since the onset of this idea. And uh, when Miss America's organization, uh, they agreed to allow Mallory Hagen to come and be our guest speaker. Uh, Piedmont College from the very beginning, an offering of the Swanson Center, which is not something that they normally do. Um, they, 
each member of the different departments have been super supportive in, in setting this event up. So we're just tickled to see it all come together. And uh, Thursday evening will be a, a lot of fun. So it'll be neat to, to be there. And Matt, would you just uh, uh, go back over quickly the details of yes, where to get the, the tickets? the details again. Uh, we will have a couple of the banks in town, uh, Community Bank and Trust um, and United Community Bank, both the Cornelia and Clarksville locations, uh, Southern Bank and Trust in Clarksville, and the Habersham Chamber of Commerce. I believe that's going to be six locations where you can purchase these tickets. And um, we're just uh, we're thrilled that they're, of course, all supporting us in that way. But um, but we, you can also contact, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Jennifer directly um, to by email or, or cell phone and contact her as well if you'd like to purchase a ticket. Um, but again, we're just so uh, excited about our, our sponsors and the support they've given us probably more than ever this year. It, it has just been uh, it's been great to have their support. And also, I'd like to mention the, the board, our board, and what a tremendous board we have, a board of directors. That's correct. And just how supportive they've been. And um, they're all they volunteers. Have, they are all volunteers. <laughs> and, and to pull some an event like this off is, is obviously not very easy and, and takes a lot of uh, manpower. And, and actually, we're doing this event probably about a month earlier than we typically have done it. Um, right. So for time reasons, we've uh, we've really had to push it to, to put this together. But, but it's been fun. It has. It's been lots of fun. It has. So um, we just want to invite everybody out there to um, check out the ticket information at the banks. and It is and first come, first serve. So there are please, limited if, numbers. If you yes. are interested, order your tickets now. Um, as Matt had mentioned, the, the various locations for uh, for picking them up, or my email again is jstein at tallulafalls.org, and that's like a German beer stein, S-T-E-I-N, um, or you can call 706-968-9637, and we'd be happy to reserve those tickets for you. So we invite you to come out to a, a lovely evening uh, at, and meet Miss America and also at the same time uh, support a wonderful cause preventing child abuse in Habersham County. Thank you for joining us.